just the first impression on this course, the fairways are really wide. And uh, are we playing in yards or meter? Yard. Yard? Yeah. So we're playing in yards. So I don't think this course is that long and I think it will be really enjoyable for all levels of golfers. And I think it's a great track to warm up or start off with after just coming down from the airport. Ninety four to pin. This looks like there's the backstop, so I can play slightly longer. I'm gonna go with the sand wedge, three quarter swing. So first hole, first hole we've got a ball that is, well I hope I'm not going to miss this. I've got 129 to the pin. It's 110 to carry the bunker. My ball looks like a flyer line, so if I hit this about 115, maybe the ball will just fly 10 meters. So let's let's hit this 120 and let the ball fly. I missed it ah, uh. go! I missed it. Chip and run. Wow. Okay. Now my chance. Okay, 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 okay. So I hooked my first shot. And I'm not sure whether I have a swing here, so let's see. Nope, I don't have a swing. So my best bet is to actually choke down, put it back on the feet. Punch it towards back left of the green. Okay. I've got 100 meters, so let's play about slightly longer.
that turned out superb. Okay, so this hole, driver cannot cross the canal, three wood might enter, three iron. 200 meters carry. On this par 5, I've been struggling a little bit with my driver. I think this is the second time I've sort of hooked it and I got lucky twice. My ball uh, was uh, found, wasn't a good lie, it was sitting down. Uh, that's why I did not go with the wood. Took an iron instead and played the ball back into the fairway. Sometimes you will find your ball in a nasty lie so I see a lot of amateurs taking out their drive, uh, their driver, not their drivers, their fairway woods. Uh, I think the best choice from there would always be a hybrid because uh, that's what it's for, or an iron. Put the ball back in play. It's always the best choice. And on my approach, I hit it short. I was kind of confused uh, with the headwind, and had to rely on my short game again. On this par 3, we had 177 meters to the pin and there was some headwind. I think I took a club longer. Struck this really well, the ball landed on the green and rolled into the bunkers. And now I have to hit a high, soft landing bunker shot. This is a shot which um, I have practiced many times before and finally got to use it. I've missed uh, quite a number of greens, uh, this front 9 and have to rely heavily on my short game. So how is your short game? Is your short game able to save you from certain troubles or even get you up and down and avoid big numbers? On this second shot, I have a 9 iron. I felt a bit uncomfortable stepping over the ball, so I stepped back again. I had about 126 meters and I was thinking to go with a smooth 3 quarter. I struck this well, but I think I misjudged the distance and actually it should have been a full 9. I went with a high pitch shot, I landed soft but trickled past the hole and had to sink this 6-7 footer for par. Thank you for watching guys and I'll see you in the next 9. May the course be with you.